I've been wanting to paint my living room door for ages but because it's this old pine that has been varnished over the years not by me like long long ago I always thought that it would be a lot of work to paint over it because I thought it would need to get stripped or something um, however I've recently discovered that French chic paint in the lazy range which is a chalk paint doesn't need any preparation to the surface of what you're going to paint apart from having given it a really good clean with some sugar soap um, so apparently that's all I need to do so I've done that should be dry enough now to paint it so I'm going to paint it doesn't need any primer and it doesn't need to be waxed afterwards either it is a really amazing sounding paint and I have heard really good things about it over the years I've never tried this brand yet though I have tried other brands of chalk paint um, which I thought were good so I'll be really interested to see how this one turns out you can't really tell the colour on the box on the tin um, it's a sort of beigey colour but it does have a really pinky hue so it's going to turn out hopefully or it should turn out sort of a blush pink sort of beigey colour um, I made a decision very quickly but sometimes for me that's the best thing to do otherwise I'll overthink it and I'll just take me ages to think and to choose. I have got a lot of chalk painted furniture in the room such as this uh, sideboard, I've got another couple of sideboards and the little table that I painted a little while ago. So I've got a few different colours, different tones of like neutrals in this room. So I did struggle when it came to thinking about what colour to paint the door. I thought if I just add another neutral is it just going to be too much? too many different shades so I thought the pinky shade would actually be really nice and it's a really nice calming room here Um, it is painted in neutral colours I'll give you a bit of a pan round I repainted it last year but um, I just used the same colours and I got some artwork put up in the walls which makes it look really nice in here and then it's just a warmer colour over here and then I've got my lovely chair there as well so everything is just it's just a really pretty room um, and I think a little pop of pink over here would be so much fun I just hope it comes out a nice colour um, I know that because I'm painting on a slightly darker surface it might look a little different but I'm gonna give it a go I'm just gonna bite the bullet and go for it so yeah two coats is all that it should need so I'm going to get the first coat done and then I actually have another vlog to sit and edit so I'm going to do that while it dries and um, get on with the rest of my day. first coat is done and I'm really happy with that. The paint coverage is really good um, in terms of covering the wood. Uh, I was really, really happily surprised how well that went on and I think two coats will be enough. It obviously looks a little patchy now as it's drying. I think it says 30 minutes till you can do the second coat but I'm definitely going to need to leave that longer anyway. But I'm really, really liking uh, losing the dark brown. Very happy with that. I quite like it. Um, looking forward to seeing what it's like when it's all finished. I haven't bothered masking tape in the glass because I hate masking tape and things when I paint. I don't find it's very effective, but I do have a little scraping tool and I'm just going to go over the glass when it's dry and scrape off any of the excess paint. You can also just use a, like a Stanley knife blade and just scrape it off, which is highly satisfying. Um, yeah, I think changing the colour of the paint will change how I view my doors, actually, because I've never thought they were particularly pretty. But actually, the little detail in the middle is really pretty. So I think giving them a new lease of life is waking them up. I mean, them, it, it's one door. I've painted both sides. Um, the paint colour will go nicely in my hallway as well. And um, I'm very tempted to paint the other doors that I've got 
uh, in the hallway. I've got my kitchen door also is the same actually um, and a couple of the other doors in the hallway there are just solid wood but again that horrible brownie orangey pine so we'll let that dry. I did uh, loosen the handle so I can get in there but the this thing whatever it's called uh, seems to be glued on I could not get that off. Um, so yeah there's the other side looking good as well so I'm going to go and sit and edit that vlog now I've actually got some soup on the stove which is smelling lovely it's gone quite dark it's quite chilly today so I'm looking forward to that I've just given the door a second coat and it's hard to tell I think it may need a third coat but I'm not sure it might just be a little patchy because it's wet either way um I'm still really happy with the coverage of that because it was covering some really dark wood that's only been two coats so if it only needs two coats that's amazing even if it needs a third I still think that's pretty good I have painted a lot of things um over my over my time and yeah I, I think that's that's fine because the um sideboard here that you can see i'm sure would have had more coats than that um and i think that was just like a chalk paint Lido did once um but the comparison with the french chic i mean the french chic is really i'm really impressed with that one um so yeah i've done another coat i've just made a coffee i'm gonna sit and have that i've finished almost finished editing the other vlog that i said i was doing and the more i see i should put my coffee down hang on The more I keep getting glimpses of this door, the more I realise just how pretty it is and I absolutely love it now. Like I've never appreciated that pretty little floral, but with that colour, um, I think that's so beautiful now. I really like my door. My door might actually feature in some photographs. Like it's going to be Instagrammable, isn't it? I'm really happy with that. Um, and I'm happy with the colour as well. It's a really hard one to describe and I think the colour will keep sort of changing depending on the time of day and the lighting and stuff like that. Um, it'll look different again when I've cleaned up the glass and I've got a painting mat underneath it. That is just one that I had for Joshua when he was little. So that was on the dining room table whenever he was painting. So there are little bits of paint all over it, um, which is just a nice little sweet reminder of my little baby boy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I think I'm not going to do any more coats on it today. I will leave it and I'll look at it tomorrow with fresh eyes and make a decision tomorrow whether it needs another coat or not. Um, and yeah, I'll probably paint the other doors. I'll probably do the door to my packing room, um, which is like a stock room in the same colour. I think maybe the kitchen I would do in a more neutral colour, not not the pink. Um, but I did get the larger tin of paint because the woman, even the woman in the shop was unsure whether the smaller tin would do that door. Um, so I got the larger one just to be on the safe side, knowing that I could use it for another door anyway. So um, yeah, but in, on saying that, there's would there be enough left for the other door? The other door doesn't have glass in it. Oh, maybe I'll end up buying even more paint. <laughs> anyway, that's how I'm getting on today. Going to sit and have my coffee, going to get this other vlog up later on and then maybe even get round to doing a little bit of sewing. Sometimes I give up, just wanna be on my own Even in the darkest times, you give me hope So, I lean on you when I've lost my way I keep holding on
I always try to have a jar of toasted seeds on hand. They are so good for adding to breakfast like porridge or yogurt, Greek yogurt with fruit. Um, they are really good for putting on salad as well or even over soup or a pasta dish. They are just so, so delicious if you toast them. The flavour intensifies so much. I find that they're quite boring and bland um, straight from the packet, but if you toast them in a dry frying pan, let them brown a little bit, they are delicious. And seeds are highly, highly nutritious. So if you're looking to make some changes in your diet, this is a really small change you can make that actually has a massive impact. Um, put them in a really pretty Bon Mama jam jar. I've got a shelf here full of jars with bits and pieces on so they just sit up there and I just grab them whenever I want to add them to something but seeds are full of your good fats, your vitamin E, your healthy oils and all that kind of thing so yeah that is my top tip for today. Monday morning blues, I open my eyes and I'm greeted by a cute little smile, the world is new with you by my side. Everything is beautiful Tuesday afternoon. I'm calling you home. I've just come back up to my sewing room. I've just made a coffee which has just fit in my cup. I can't even tip it up. Can you see how full that is? I seem to be making a habit of that these days because I put my milk in my cup first and then I microwave the milk, make it nice and warm, and then I put the coffee in from the from the machine, straight from the machine. Um but I, I because I've done it so often I do roughly know how um much milk I can put in. So I don't think I think maybe there's been one time where I've had a bit of an accident with it and completely got it wrong and put too much milk in um, and I had to swap vessels over to catch all the coffee just once I think but um, yeah today I'm having a latte so I've got a little espresso in here um, and lots and lots of milk um, how cute is my cup it looks like Tilly this was sent to me as a gift from a lovely viewer and I absolutely love it it's not only has it got a little grey cat it's got a ball of yarn like how perfect it's got John Lewis on the bottom so that's where it's from um, it's a September day. It was a really nice start to the day. It was sunny. It was beautiful. Um, I'm a bit dull now, but at least it's not raining. It was rainy and drizzly all day yesterday, which was horrible. I have just come back up to my sewing room. I am working on a wholesale order, which is really nice, but it's a bit of a... I'm not going to share it because I know what it's getting used for and... I'm not sure whether that's going to be advertised or whether it's a surprise addition to something that the customer is doing. <laughs> that makes no sense, very cryptic. But um, yeah, so I can't really show you what I'm working on at the moment. I've also got a stack of sewing on my desk for the um, autumn boxes. As I'm speaking right now, there's one left. I There's a great possibility by the time this vlog goes out that it's sold, but I'm just going to tell you now there's one left. And I won't be, I can't offer any more because I've only ordered enough for those number of boxes. Um, so yeah, the thing that I'm making for that is going well. I've put that on pause at the moment just to get this wholesale order done first. It's a pretty big wholesale order, so I am doing a very repetitive task. So I split it into smaller chunks and I'll just do a few at a time. But it's a good opportunity for me to sit and watch vlogs, which I'm going to do. I've not had the chance to watch so much Um lately so I'm going to go back I think I've got a few to catch up on on a few channels which is quite nice because I like to watch one channel and then just watch loads of that person um rather than chopping and changing uh so yeah that works for me um yeah I can't show you what I'm working on at the moment um just thought I'd pop on though and have a wee chat with you now um <laughs> not that I've got much to say or anything to show you but um yeah I, it's quite nice to just pop on pop on and chat so i'm gonna have my coffee i'm gonna find something to watch i think it's laura penrose today i'm going to catch up on her she vlogged throughout the summer a little bit um so i can catch up on that i think she did like vlogmas in july type of thing so i'll have all that to catch up on um and then i think is it a burst of sewing i'll be on the machine for a little bit as well so i won't i'll have to pause the vlog saying i won't hear anything but going to crack on because these things won't sew themselves so yeah i'm gonna get on
Good morning, it's a Thursday and if you've been here before you'll know that on Thursdays we do something a little bit different and boy am I glad because I've been tied up with the wholesale order a lot this week so it'll be nice to get a little break today. Um, on Thursdays I volunteer with the National Trust for Scotland and I'm a garden volunteer so I go and I volunteer in the gardens of an actual palace and it's beautiful. I was hoping the sun was going to come out, it's a little bit, it's just kind of overcast I suppose but at least it's not raining but let's go along let's see what's happening this week last week the leaves were almost threatening to start turning in some of the trees so I wonder if it's looking a little bit autumnal yet um so yeah I'm just going to make my coffee to take with me for a tea break I've got one of my muffins out the freezer I think I showed you them a few vlogs back um and yeah I'm just going to get on my way Trying to get your attention Can I come close? I don't know how to play this Our hands touch once or twice Feeling kind of hypnotized I'm looking at you and I feel the tension You know, this could be like heaven I am right here doing my best to make you feel like I do And just for a second Attention. 
feels just like water You're making me weak now What doesn't kill you makes you Our hands touch once or twice We should let them intertwine I'm looking at you and I feel the tension You know this could be like heaven I am right here doing my best to make you feel like I do Looking at you, I'm trying to get your attention. Can I come close? I don't know how to play this. You know, this could be like a fun. I am right here, doing my best to make you feel like I do. And just for a second, you're looking at me, making me feel like maybe you want this too. Give me your attention. It's an absolutely beautiful day here. It's the beginning of September and we seem to be having a little heat wave. I am absolutely roasting. I've been out this morning on the doorstep having a lovely cup of coffee and it was just beautiful. That autumn sun just hits differently and the sort of um, the haze is just beautiful over the flowers. And I've been to the post office as well and it is so warm. I've just been out like this, um, which is not helpful considering some of the stuff I'm going to be talking to you about in this vlog. Um, they're not particularly summery things, we're moving on a bit. Um, but yeah, it's a gorgeous day. I've got a to-do list as long as my arm today and yeah, it's it's getting a lot. I think I'm gonna have to write it down because I don't make lists but when I get to the point where I've got so much to do, it really does help to just get it out so that I don't forget anything as well. Um, I've just hoovered and that way I can tick one job off the list and it's a job that if I can see it's done, I feel a little bit better, just seeing that it's not so obvious that it needs doing, especially when you've got a grey cat as well. So I've done that quickly, which has just made me even hotter, but that's a job ticked off. And I've been at the post office, so that's a job ticked off. I've got sewing to get on with as well. Um, it's going to be roasting in my sewing room though. It's south facing and gets the sun, so it'll be very warm. Um, I've got news today for you um of things that are upcoming in my shop i've got a couple of whips to show you or one's finished um and i'm going to chat to you about my book and let's start with the book that i've been reading i picked this in the last vlog it's nothing to do with a garden it's nothing to do with a nice summery garden book at all the garden of lost and found is the name of a painting 
I'm really enjoying this book. Um, didn't know what to expect when I picked it up, but I am about two thirds of the way through. Really liking it. I seem to have stumbled into reading books that are all set between nowadays and they jump back in time to uh, anything from a hundred or so years ago or to not quite that far but this one is the same again about a family jumping back and forth in time um not like time traveling but jumping back to read the story of the people further down the family tree kind of thing and I didn't think I'd like that kind of book but I'm loving it and I think because I'm just choosing covers and names that appeal to me I'm getting books that I'm enjoying so I'm really enjoying that one again um it's slightly I would say it's not particularly uplifting at the moment um it's about a woman who's separated from her husband um and I do find it's I can feel myself well not feeling uplifted when I read it put it that way um because obviously I know <coughs> <coughs> voice crack in there um obviously i know it's not easy when you have children and you move out and separate from family so yeah you can feel that in the in the writing i guess i guess that's the whole point you're supposed to feel what the character is feeling and living through and um yeah that's the whole point of the story so it's well written in that sense but it's not one to read when i want to feel uplifted and happy so i think my next read will need to be something that brings me a bit more joy but yeah enjoying that so far anyway don't let that put you off um I have been doing a little bit of knitting on my shawl that I started ages ago I haven't done this as much as I thought I would I really thought I'd pick it up a lot more but I mean nothing's changed I still sit down in the evening and I'm absolutely shattered and I just can't even face looking at simple knitting but I put the stitch marker progress keeper there a couple of days ago and I've done a few rows since. Is that the back? I can't tell the back of the front. Um, So I've done a few rows since then <clears throat> but it is growing so I can't complain and the, the yarn is making some nice wavy patterns in there. Um, I think because I'm not knitting it for myself with myself in mind that's not making me rush to get it done because it's not for me. Um, But that's there still living in my little bee basket my little fabric basket um i should say that the summer survival kits that i did the boxes um all had a basket in them like this and there's one box left in my shop um so if you would like it you can order it i did show in maybe not the last video or the one before it i think i did show what the contents were so if you want to see what they are um you can have a look but if you want a surprise then don't go back looking but um it was all things that you could sit in your little basket and you can carry about if you're going on holiday or if you're having a wee day out or just if you're going out to the garden take your wee basket with you and you can take some activities and things to do in it um i won't give anything away just in case you don't want to know what's in it in the box um that is the asymmetrical shawl which is a free pattern by the woolly brew who you can find online, just search for them on Google and they'll come up. It might be on Ravelry, I'm not sure. They are sort of my local yarn shop and they are a few miles away up the coast. I have also blocked my playful shawl, which um, is this one. I've done it using two different coloured yarns, absolutely beautiful. I thought I'd better get it blocked because coming into autumn it's gonna get chilly and I'm gonna to want to wear it and then we get a heat wave so maybe it's my fault for blocking my shawl I just blocked it with steam no not steam I sprayed it and then I, blo I blocked it and sprayed it with a little bit of water I'm not sure whether I should have soaked it because I'm not sure if it's blocked enough at all because I'm still getting it still curls up but I don't know what do you think I'm no expert it's not as stretched out as I thought it should be I didn't really I didn't stretch it stretch it so I don't know I'm not I'm not experienced in blocking at all I mean it'll definitely have done something I don't know if I can even share much there yeah it'll definitely have done something but what is your advice if you know about these kind of things should I soak it in some wool wash and re-block it or is that fine I haven't sewn in my ends yet because my understanding of it is that you shouldn't do that to your blocked things anyway I've got a I joined there because my undyed yarn that I used um, 
I must have used it for something else so I had to join in a bit more so I'll put it on on this hottest day of the month <laughs> and you'll get the idea I really like it like the color like the drape like the weight of it as well it's not too heavy but I think it will be super cozy on the days once it starts to get a little bit chilly and I love it and it will go with everything it will go with all my jackets my jackets are all fairly neutrally colors as well I've got like a, a green sort of khaki one as well so they'll go with everything and yeah I like that I love it beautiful um it's the playful shawl by Meg Gadsby it's a free pattern you can find it on Ravelry the yarns that I used are a plain undyed four ply and um Chelsea Lux yarn um which I was very lucky to be have been sent as a present from someone and the colour is called rose gold and I think that using it with the cream has just really allowed the colours to be more obvious and I'm really pleased at that um so yeah that's done let me know your advice should I leave it should I re-block it I mean it sits fine I know there's people that don't block anything so I'm not I'm not going to worry about it but that is another finish I don't finish things often if you're around here much you know I don't have many finishes I was thinking about the other day how I'm so tired in the evenings and I don't feel very productive but then I thought I'm crafting all day I sew is my job and so I am making stuff all day and not many people are going to do their job all day and then go and sit and do the exact same thing in the evening as well are they so trying not to be too hard on myself for not getting much personal crafting done but life is just oh it's exhausting when you are a grown-up it's not that fun always is it so there we are my lovely little shawl and it is so squishy which is exactly what i hoped for um i think i used size four needles probably anyway there we are and i knitted right up until i finished all of the chelsea Lux yarn and that's all i've got left that could go in my scrappy scarf project actually that would be nice so that is a finish I just need to find somewhere to keep that I've got this big shawl here kind of lives there then when I'm chilly in the evenings I can use it as a blanket or pop it on my shoulders I love that one as well that is an iron weight shawl it's called the colour block shawl by Sarah Knight and then again another free pattern shall I show you it why not I love this like I love everything about this I love that pink that pink color is everything hello matches my decor love it and I love the cream I love how it goes with the cream I love the stripes I love the fact that you can add in stripes or blocks wherever you want as many as you want as few as you want I love this shawl so much it's a lovely I love a jumper like this oh would you believe this yarn was just from Aldi it's really nice it's really soft um I do have more of it, so maybe one day I will make a jumper in it. I don't know. Ah, uh, me and my plans, eh? So yeah, love that as well. That was another big long-term project for me, but with it just being simple knit, um, it was really nice to, um, nice and easy to do. Right, what else was I going to chat to you about? Um, the big thing I've got coming up now that I want to let you know is that my Christmas boxes are now on sale. I had a lot of fun designing the little um, the imagery for the box. It's really sweet, the little snowman, so cute. And I really wanted to use like the muted colours and it looks like watercolour as well, which is lovely. Um, so the boxes are on sale now. You are getting a couple of choices when you order your box. Um, you can choose... Well, so these boxes are, I always do my Christmas ones with the same sort of format. So you'll get a handmade project bag, handmade by me, and it will be Christmas themed. And you'll also get a skein of hand dyed yarn, which will be dyed to complement the project bag. Um, I'm still just tweaking things at the moment, the details, but you'll get the choice of yarn, whether you want a full skein in your box or you can get a mini skein. And I'm just trying to figure out whether I want to offer you another choice of four ply or DK. So yeah, I've got a few things to think about as well here with that. Um, yeah, at the time of filming this, I haven't listed it, but when you see the video, it will be listed and all of that will have been um, thought out and yeah, the listing 
So we'll reflect that and you'll choose from the drop down menu which yarn you'd like, whether you want a full skein or a mini skein. There's also going to be lots of other lovely things in the box from like maybe crafty themed things to just things to help you enjoy the season or maybe even things that are not not specifically Christmassy related but that you'll also enjoy. There's always a nice drink, a little treat to eat, that kind of thing. So all be wrapped up, lovely treats, nice treat for yourself or if you want to get a gift for a friend, um, it's perfect. And you can choose whether you open it all at once, whether you save it all to Christmas Day or whether you open gifts all the way throughout December, it's up to you. Um, it's not an advent, there's not going to be, there's not 24 gifts, there's not specifically going to be 12 either, so it's not an advent, but just a box of goodies and you can open them however you like. So yeah, if you'd like one of those, um, you can purchase one in my Etsy shop, the link is below, or you can go on Etsy and search for me there. My shop is called Sorry Me UK, which is all one word. And it feels so wrong to be talking about Christmas on such a beautiful day, but I find I, I find a lot of other small businesses start selling Christmas stuff in the springtime and I can't think back then about Christmas. But as soon as the school holidays finish for me, that's it, my brain switches over and I have to think ahead. So yeah, that's why it has to be done now. Um they do usually sell out, so if you would like one, please order soon. Um, because once they're gone, um, I don't always have extra stock to be able to offer any more. seem to have opened up a huge can of worm, worms recently in asking people's opinions on Patreon and boy do people like to give their opinions. I've had two videos now where the comments have just been full of people's opinions on what I should do and what I shouldn't do and what they think and stuff which is fine I did open up that discussion I did ask for your opinion. Um, it's interesting the first video was most of the comments were quite negative um, the second video, after I'd kind of explained it from my point of view, um, was quite a bit more supportive. So thank you if you've been supportive to me. And a lot of people have said, well, you have to do what's right for you, which, yes, that's exactly right. I did get one or two comments that were quite unnecessary. Um, and a few comments kind of felt like there was the underlying message of well if you're going to do that then I'm not going to be your friend anymore like there was just this undertone to some messages which wasn't very nice and it's not been very nice to read them and receive them either so it's just been a really weird sort of month for me taking in all this and digesting it and trying to figure out what I actually want to do um so I'm still thinking about it at no point have I said that I'm leaving YouTube a lot of people seem to be an uproar that I'm leaving YouTube but I've never ever said that and that's not what I ever intend to do so you're stuck with me here I'll be here Um, it's just whether or not I go down another little channel to explore new things which you know is fine Um, so yeah I'm still thinking about that so yeah it's been a busy little while since I last vlogged and um, there's been a lot going on a hell of a lot going on in my head I've got a lot to think about a lot to plan um, yeah, it's just been a really busy time. So the busyness is going to continue. Today is Friday afternoon, so I'm going to get on with work this afternoon and I'm going to enjoy my weekend. Although I do think I'm probably going to have to do a few little jobs over the weekend, like worky jobs. Um, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to go and grab some lunch now and then get back to work. So thank you for watching. Check out the Christmas boxes if you'd like one. The autumn boxes have actually all sold now. I think I did say earlier in the video there was one, but they sold just after that, actually the last one sold. So thank you to everyone that supported me with that as well. I am getting this wholesale order done first and then I can get back to making things for the autumn boxes and things should start arriving with me next week. So I can start wrapping and packing and have them out to you uh, within another few weeks so that you can enjoy them for autumn so I'm really really looking forward to getting those out as well but um thanks for joining me this time and I will see you next time bye
This is just my 